How's it going, everybody? I'm the Swordmaster, and welcome back to Five Nights at Candies. I've been needing to go back to this game for a while, but it's just I needed to try to find the perfect setting for it. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, jump right in, I guess. Candies, burgers, and fries. Family restaurant looking for the security guard on the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor cameras and sure safety of the Okay. I'm gonna be honest, it sounds loud as shit. But oh my god, it actually looks fucking amazing. You have one new message. Hi, hello. I'm the junior manager here at the restaurant. What's I'm going on, my dude? I'm supposed the job as our new security guard. Okay. In your resume, I can tell that you're already a well-experienced guard. Yeah, thank but, you, Freddy Fazbear. So I have to walk you through the basics anyway. Uh, so let's get started. We have security cameras all around the restaurant. What is that and smudge? And if you bring up the camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from each camera by pressing the camera button. Is that buttons supposed to be me? Map. Now our lights are always off well, during the night. My obviously, because Six it'd be a waste of power to leave them on all night. So to actually see something on the cameras, you can activate the camera system's night vision mode. You activate night vision by clicking on the button of whatever camera you're currently viewing. So for example, oh, say you wow. want to see what's on camera 1. You bring up the camera panel, you click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, you can click on any of the other cameras and view them with night vision as well. And you turn it off the same way you turn it on. Now, night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the animatronics. Those are really expensive machines, and we do not want them stolen. And you keep an eye on them through the cameras. Why we would I want to steal them? Why would anybody want to steal these Cindy. things? Look at There's them! They're the fucking scary as shit! There's penguins, just lots, I tell ya. Uh, so, you also have three security doors in your office, each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are here in case you're in some sort of danger, but personally I just use them to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. <laughs> but real. don't let me be a whole model on that one. You need to remember that closing these doors takes power, and the longer they're closed, the more power they drain. Now, I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail-safe feature in case the power gets cut off. You know, so they open up if there's no more power. All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed. So you don't want to keep them closed for too long at a time. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of use. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left on the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run out of power. If you do though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at night, so they might start walking around a bit. But just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want to damage or anything. So don't close the ticket booth door. They won't attempt to get in through there. That should be all. You'll hear from me again on your next shift. Have a good night. That scared the fucking shit out of me! Oh my god! Hello, voice crack. And hello, Five Nights at Candies. Oh shit. Where... Where did he jump to? Where in the fuck did he jump to? Oh, you're right there. Where's Cindy at? Oh, she's still on stage. That is scary as fuck. Look how realistic they look. Oh my god. This game was so clean. And yet so beautiful at the same time. Holy fuck, dude. Am I gonna only be dealing with you tonight? Oh, I prayed and hoped to god that that's the case. Oh my god. Well, at least it only lasts till 6 a.m., I believe. So I got it. Oh my god. Why did his mouth open up? And holy fuck, this game is loud as shit in my headphones. Well, at least it'll help me listen a little bit, I guess. 
Like, they, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, guys. These guys look super fucking realistic. But I still don't know what that sludge is. Oh my god. Why is there music going? Please stop. Entrance right here. Where? Oh shit, where's Cindy? Okay. Well, you're about to pop up, and she's over here. I'm watching the door. That's still probably gonna scare the shit out of me. Seven is twelve. They, they look so realistic. Oh my god. They literally look like they're about to fucking kill you. Oh my god. That is scary as fuck. God. Okay, they're gone. Okay, so Candy's back on stage. She's still there. God, the game is so fucking loud. Well, it's almost over, so you know what? Fuck them. I don't give a shit. So it apparently starts you from 11, and then it's 12. Oh my god. Uh-uh, no, it's about to be 6 a.m. I ain't putting up with your bullshit. And this is only the first night. Why? so loud in my headphones. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Wow, this game looks super clean. Oh, there's the puppet. Ghosts. Ghosts, my boy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, so, I, I say, you know, just because maybe a longer video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it there, I guess. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want to see more uh, Five Nights at Candy stuff, I guess. And, um, yeah. Oh, also, if you guys haven't checked out my Twitch, link will be in the description. Or, if you want, it is Swordmaster176. Also, if you guys want to check out my music stuff, I'm going to leave my band lab in the description as well, along with the URL. And, uh... Guys, as always, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.